Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. To me, to me, it's the power. It's the power and the authority that gravitates into the hands of a small group of people who can create money out of thin air. This is an ominous power. It is the most powerful tool for central economic planning around. He is, um, it's taken one of the worst uh, stretches for the economy in American history to get people to finally pay attention to him. Um, he has been ahead on the economy. He has attempted to audit the Fed now nine times. They operate in complete darkness. Uh, there, there's a um, political philosophy that advocates the uh, merging together of the interests of business and government. At the same time, a, uh, with a loss of civil liberties of the people. And I'm afraid we're moving in that direction, not just in the last year or two, but over many, many years. When you think about, uh, especially uh, since 9-11, there has been some loss of civil liberties that we shouldn't be unconcerned about. There are warrantless searches. There's no really financial privacy or medical privacy in this country. Uh, habeas corpus has been challenged, as well as the Internet privacy is being challenged. So civil liberties have been challenged. But the combination of business and government has been ongoing for a good many years. I would say possibly for a hundred years, but more so now. And I see what we're doing today, or at least a proposal by Treasury, as a massive move for a lot closer uh, association of business and, uh, and, and government. Uh, most everybody's aware of the military industrial complex and the combination of how uh, military contractors and government are in bed together. Now we have a medical industrial complex. The media is very much involved uh, with, with government as, as, as well as uh, uh, just about er everything that we have, government and businesses are, are, are very much involved. But the original uh, purpose of our government was to not was to regulate the government and uh, not for the government to regulate the people because there really isn't any authority to people for the government to tell us what to do with our civil liberties or to run our businesses I mean if we believe in the marketplace the, the market is supposed to be self-regulating and there, there can be a case uh, made for that but we have embarked for many years uh, in this effort to have the government do uh, all the regulating but from my viewpoint and the viewpoint of many others we should be regulating the government uh, and we essentially don't I mean when, when, uh, when you think about the authority uh, you as a chairman of the Federal Reserve and what the chair uh, what the Federal Reserve can do I mean it, it really goes unaudited and uh, very very little oversight and now when you think about the recent uh, em embarking of the uh, president's working group and this is not an advisory group. It's called a working group. I mean, they're not economic advisors. We have presidential economic advisories, but uh, we, we don't have minutes of the working group. We don't know what they do, uh, what kind of action, what authority they have. Uh, and, uh, and once in a while we hear a report, but we're giving more power to this working group, which means that it looks like we've really given up on the republic, you know, freedom and the marketplace and sound money. And all we accept is more encroachment of our civil liberties, more collusion between business and government. And it looks like this is a massive increase in the combination of government and, and big business.